welcome to Kendall Coy. This has been going since 2006. It started really, really small. About 900 people just had to leave Kendall Castle, but it's 40,000 people these days. And it's closer to Penrith than it is actually to Kendall. But it's got a fabulous atmosphere going. It's like a sea themed, but most people are either dressed as a pirate or as a mermaid, and it is pretty good. You know what you're saying? Music festival, what's that? But it is also specialist in local beers, and there's a few craft beers as well. And we're going to start off with a dagger in behind us, where there's a few in the latest ones. Two pound cup ready. Let's go check it out. Inside the Stagger Inn. This is the place you want to come if you've got all the local ales along the side of the wall. About six or seven. Uh, not on the price side, but this is £6.45. Uh, they've got a lot from Lancaster Breweries and a few other local ones. This is Lancaster himself. This is their black. So, set from 2002, Phil Simpson and Matt Jackson. And they've sort of like diverted into sort of quite speciality hotels and gastro clubs these days, but they're very uncomplicated on their beers. They have an amber, blonde, a red, and a stout, which you've got here. Four and a half percent. There's a lovely smoky coffee richness going off the top of it. It's quite good. Cheers. There's a smoothness, there's a creaminess, there's definite coffee notes at the back end. That's a serious drinker's drink. Cold outside, the sunshine has disappeared, and sometimes it's just not really a nice pint of stout. But also, get that in here. This is a staggering pub. All the dartboards are fake, uh, but it does have live music off to the one side as well, so it's, uh, it does have the feel of um, a slightly large country pub in a tent, but an excellent addition. Cheers. Welcome to the Thatcher's Tent. So they're one of the main corporate sponsors here. And they have it all in the main bars, but they've got their own little cool space with some balloons up. We're trying to get it sit in one of the wicker baskets, but it's not quite going to work. I've gone for a, um, a haze. The Thatcher's been going since 1904, so that's 120 years, all in the same family. Run by Martin Thatcher these days, based in Sanford, in North Somerset. Always give hot fuzz in Gloucestershire, this almost seems to come out. Uh, but the haze is uh, 4.5%. Combination of apples, but it's the, there's a John of Gold apple in this, which makes it hazy. This was £6.75, strongest and the cheapest that they do. Vicky Cam's a big fan of the blood orange. That's £7.15 at 4%, but let's give this a go. Cheers. Ice cold, there's a nice fish to that, there's a lovely apple sweetness and it tastes a proper apple as well, you get that sort of slightly sour bit towards the back. It's lovely, it's refreshing, the sun was shining and it's just, just slightly disappeared. But there's enough sugar in that to keep you popping all afternoon. So, batches, cheers. Point two for the stagger in. It's from the Keswick Brewery. Keswick obviously been going since 2005. They're quite small actually, don't make too many pints. This is their Fox Pale. I don't think I've had one of theirs before. It's about 4%. 6.45. 6.45. 
just a real citrusy, mangoey whiff off the top of it. So it might have some cascade or some citrus in there, but cheers. It's lovely and smooth. It's a, it's a proper off fruit, orange and tangerine, just dancing across there. There's a real sort of bitter grapefruit finish, just to balance it off. Nice and orangey sweet. And, really good. and that is very croppable. Great to have cast beer at a festival. We'll be heading back into the uh, Parklands tent, which has been our residence of choice for the last two or three days. Pop off some more of the beer calories. Keswick, none too bad. Cheers. there so before heading back out it's gone very wet and very windy <laughs> very rainy so we're trying to dodge it out um not touched on in the venue the other corporate sponsor here is brew dog um so you can get their lost lager and their wingman at about seven pound they've got their own sort of specific bar and they're sold on all the major ones uh, for me for those two beers that's a little bit expensive but you can get easy jane Four cans for about nine pounds from the coop. Uh, it looks like an actual <laughs> part of the festival. They bang out music from that pub um, from seven o'clock in the morning until two o'clock in the morning. Um, so if you come here and you've actually genuinely forgot to bring some beers or some food uh, or even a bit of fruit or any sort of, sort of toiletries, it's actually all based on site and you can buy it here at slightly more than usual cart prices. But it's worth a bash. But Brew Dog, anyway. So 2007, James Watt and Martin Dickey. And Martin Dickey was involved in brewing Jaipur at Thornbridge, so pretty high on the beer stakes. Uh, I think James Watt was a, a lawyer and economist he studied at university. I am an equity punk in Brewdog. Um, that's not something I'm particularly proud of these days. Uh, they've gone from great beer to some pretty shocking stuff. But this Hazy Jane up 5%. I'm a bit of a fan of, I suppose it. 9.75 for the four cans. Is that about four pound for a pint? Or three pound fifty? There's a real whiff of tropical hops on there. That's the one that's really opaque. There's quite a lot of um, carbonation going up on there. But that is still nice. Cheers. Though it looks carbonated, it's still nice and soft. And it's a lovely mango tropical fruit running through that. It's not wow, smash you in the face, hot sort of levels, but the beer just to drink at a festival. Cold out of a tin, that's pretty good. Again, the calling's been great. I'm heading home soon. Um, it's a long time since I've been this far north and it is pretty chilly. <laughs> but main stage, Okay, Parkland's tent was absolutely epic, and some of the Woodlands bits and the silent disco were superb. Until the next time, cheers. Like the Grinch when I'm writing Wasn't really caring for a while Till I met this light skin We're sitting at the bar When I spit a couple bars Like nah She's still Come over mine We're having a jam session She's a music girl But she was a flat seven In theory to me She was a world class On weekdays Maybe we can take it to the max like She wanna move fast Or want slow But she find a way To drive me crazy Like Fernando alone